Okay, Clifford. Okay. So now let's move on to sewing. You should have a pair of your booties ready to sew. Mm -hmm. So you will realize that on your um, baby booties template, right? One, they should they shouldn't be symmetrical. Yeah, one is definitely not symmetrical. Yes. Okay. So what you need to do is we have to establish which side we should be sewing. Okay. So if let's say we are sewing on the same side, we will end up with the um, same side of the booty. Okay. So what we're gonna do is, um, I'll decide a side for you to sew. You will have to pick the side that has the straighter edge of the flap mm. on the left. So make sure that the straighter edge is facing the left side of you. Okay. And I will be using the other side. Okay, so my notch should be on the left, left side. You're right. Okay. So the flat side is where the notch is. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Okay. It. So then when you have your uh, baby booties here ready, just help me to make sure that the bottom layer, which is the lining, mm -hmm. right side is facing upwards. Right side is facing up. So the light grey side is facing upwards. Yes, which okay. is facing you. Okay. And then for the main fabric, the printed side should be facing down onto the lining, right side. So right sides are facing together. Okay, touching yeah. each other. Yes. Okay, and then the interface should be the top, the most top layer. Yes, you're right. Okay. Nice. Okay. Right. Seems like you're better at sewing. You <laughs> visualize better. Okay. So now let's have uh, some pinning. We'll pin them together first. So grab your pin, and then we're gonna start sewing at the top of the boat. So you realize that the shorter edge of the boat, from one end all the way to the other, we're gonna sew. So we're not gonna sew an entire round. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be from one edge all the way to the other side. So the bottom that is very big, that little boat, you won't be sewing that up. Okay, okay let's try. So we're going to pin the top edge now. Mm -hmm. so, so mine should be on the right side, right? Yours should be on the left. Left side. Your yeah. knot should be on the left. Okay. And my knot should be on the right. So I should be pinning the left side. You should be pinning all around. So what you can do is in the center of the boat, uh -huh. just insert a pin. Okay that is perpendicular to the edge of your fabric. Okay. So you should be seeing the needle jutting out of your edge. So that's perpendicular, like a mm. T. And okay. then on one side of on one side of the boat, either, just make sure that you also pin it in a T manner. Like a T. And then on the last edge as well, which is here. Okay, hold on. Not like you can see, but which is here. So I'll just explain the machine as you are pinning. Okay. So there's speed control for this machine. So in any case, if you are scared that you might go too fast or you cannot catch up, right? There's always this speed control. So have a look at the middle of your machine. Mm -hmm. You should see there are three arrows there. So one arrow on the left and then in the center, there's two. And then the last one that has three arrows, like a triangle. Okay. So that down, you can actually shift. The smallest, which is on the left side, that only has one triangle, that's the lower speed. And then the one that has the most triangles will be the higher speed. Most so in between, speed. yeah, that's where you can adjust okay. your speed. Yep, I'm done the T thingy. Yeah. So you should have three pins along the top edge of your boat, the flap. Uh-huh. Mm. Okay. Then next, you can adjust your speed if you want. So maybe the middle notch, which is just the two arrows. Okay. I don't. You shouldn't be. What do you move? The, the knot. What, what, should, what should I be? Oh, okay. okay. The middle arrow. Okay, got it. Yes. Okay, so make sure that whatever you press, right, the tip tip sound, you go back to the original setting. Yeah, 2.5 and 2. Okay. Okay. Yeah, nice. Okay, so now we're going to start sewing mm -hmm. from one edge all the way to the, another, uh, to the other side at 0 0.5 cm. Okay, so mine should be from the left all the way to the right. Um, doesn't matter. Okay, as doesn't long matter. as you sew the entire thing up. Okay. Yeah, so what we need to do, how do you sew at 0 0.5? Have a look at the footer. The footer is just right above the bit of the machine where you see it looks like a foot. Okay. Yeah, so that part, right, is where your needle is as well. Mm -hmm. So in the center of the footer, there is a rectangular shape. Mm -hmm. You should realize there's a little oval as well. Okay, I see it. Yeah, so at the oval on its right side, can you see if you try to turn your needle down, mm. from your needle position to the right side of the oval, there's a gap. Mm. That's a 0 0.5 cm. Oh, okay. So this means that you have to place the edge of your fabric now, the pin fabric, to the edge of that oval on the right. So now gently put your footer down, not the needle yet, mm -hmm. and then align the edge of the fabric just right at the edge of the oval. 
Okay. So could you roughly see that the needle position, if you were to just bring it down slightly, that distance should be a 0 0.5. Yep. So if you're not sure, you have a ruler in front of you as well, you can roughly see what is a 0 0.5 cm gap. And then you should be making sure that that spacing is also the same. Yep. You got that? Great. Got okay. So now fashion sewing 101, the same. First, you have to reverse. And so first you have to sew and then you have to reverse. Mm -hmm. So step forward three times and then reverse three times. Okay. And then you start sewing all around the edge. Follow accordingly to the edge of the footer. I mean the edge of the oval. And that's how you can sew a 0.5. Okay. Okay, so we will start now. So as you're sewing, make sure that you remove your pins along the way. Don't sew over the pin. And also remember to pivot. So pivoting means that at every corner, when you try to change, make sure that you lift your footer up slightly and move your fabric. How about the speed of the sewing? How fast should I go? How slow should I go? Uh, for the speed, it depends on how comfortable you are. So if you are comfortable, if you still remember your basics, definitely you can go faster. So I just reminded you of your speed just so that uh, you can get a hang of it but definitely if you are getting more and more comfortable you can adjust to the higher speed. I'm done. Yep, almost. Okay. It's so all the way down, right? Yes. And at the end I have to do that uh, yes, three reverse. forwards, three backwards. So you just have to go backwards, like uh, 3, 2, 1, and then you can stop the stitch. Okay, got it. Woohoo! Yeah, looks good. Okay. Okay. Right, so now we will have to take our... <laughs> what is that awkward pause for? Okay, now we have to take our fabric scissors, okay. and we have to start cutting the curved edges of your um, booty. So this technique is what we call snipping. It's just to snip the curved areas to make sure that when you want to turn the entire fabric out, you start cutting already. I... No, no, just in... yeah. Sorry. What are you trimming? Oh, are you trimming off the interfacing? Yeah. Sorry. Okay, great, great, great. Yeah. So if you have any interfacing that's actually picking out of mm -hmm. the main fabric, go ahead and just trim it off. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so just make sure that at the top of the area where you see a curve, uh -huh. go ahead and use your scissors to snip at it. So how much to snip? Make sure that as you cut in, right, don't cut onto the stitch. But you're cutting like a 90 degrees to your stitch. Okay, so at the top of the area, mine should be on the left, right. right side. Yeah. Okay, at the tip of the curve. Yeah, so make a perpendicular cut. Okay, how, how much again? Very close to the stitch. So maybe 0 0.1 cm away from the stitch only. Okay. Yeah, so keep going at maybe in a 0 0.5 cm gap okay keep doing this snipping um technique along the curves this is to ensure that later on when you try to flip the <coughs> fabric out it will be very smooth what because you're releasing the tension yeah what happens if let's say the sewing line is very close to the edge <laughs> so you're saying it's not a 0 0.5 right no like for example For example, okay, hold on. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. So that's the curvier side. So your curvier side is on the right, am I right? Yes. So you were snipping that corner. Yep. So on the other side where you see the notches, mm -hmm. there's a bit of curve as well, but for that it's fine. We can just leave it. Okay. So we don't have to snip that side. Okay. Okay, so now let's move on. Mm. Okay, so now we have to apply an edge stitch onto your lining material. Edge stitch onto the lining yes. material. Yes, so what, in it, what is an edge stitch, right? The stitch is actually really what we say by the edge. So if you try to open up your fabric, now from, from the right side. Mm -hmm. I should remove my pins already, right? You mean you were sewing with your pins in? Uh, yeah, just to make sure it stays secure. <laughs> <laughs> I told you not to sew with your pins in what? <laughs> can, also can. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you remove your pins already, then uh -huh. now you open up your fabric to the right side that's facing you. Okay, I think I need to go for pinning 101. <laughs> yeah, everything. Pinning, cutting, interfacing. Okay, got it. Okay, yeah. 
So right sides are facing you. Yes. That line that uh, joins the main fabric and the lining is your seam. Okay. You saw that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you will know what is the seam allowance which is on the inside now. Mm. Right? So whatever you're folding is your stitch line. Whatever mm -hmm. is outside, that is your seam allowance. Mm. So in this case, your seam allowance would have to be faced towards your lining. So this means that as you open up your fabric, right? The seam allowance should be kept underneath the lining and not underneath the main fabric. Ah, okay. Yeah, so if it's facing the main fabric, this is wrong. Mm. You have to make sure that it's facing the lining. So your lining is in fact closed, I mean, on top of your seam allowance. Okay, got it. Yeah, okay. So once you have that, you will have to put it back into your machine. We're going to do an edge stitch. So the edge stitch should be just right beside the seam, but on your lining. So the idea of this stitch is to hold down the seam allowance just so that it will always be kept to the lining. This okay. is to prevent later on when you try to fit your booty over, the lining might just pick out. So this stitch is to hold the seam allowance down because okay. that's where the bulk is. So we will try, open up the fabric mm -hmm. and then put it underneath your machine. So now you can try to put the footer down. Should I put the right side or the... Right side. Right side facing down? Yes. Okay. No, right side facing you. Up. Right side facing me. Okay. Yeah. So your seam allowance is actually underneath. You can't see. Okay. Yes. Got it. Okay. Ah? Okay. Then now, let's put down your um, footer first. Mm -hmm. So how do we eyeball where's that 0.2 cm? So that 0.2 cm should be just right by the edge of your seam. So in this case, if you have a look at the center, the oval shape of your footer, mm -hmm. you'll see a groove in the center. Okay. Yeah. Do you see that little line? That is where your needle is. You try to gently bring down your needle just a bit before it touches the, the fabric. Okay. Can you try to eyeball for me and see the seam should be just 0.2 cm away from your needle position? Okay, I think I got it. Yeah. Okay, so that is your edge stitch. So as you're sewing, just make sure that the seam allowance should always be underneath the lining. Okay. Okay, then we can start sewing. So now let's try. First step, just go forward three steps. Wait, so I should be sewing from the top all the way down to the bottom? Yes. Okay. All the way, all around. So we reverse and then the start to go down. down. Oh, put it down carefully. Yeah. So at any point, if you feel that there's a bit of stuck, right, you can manually turn your machine down as well by turning the hand wheel. And then turn the hand wheel, lift your footer up, and give your fabric a bit of push. Okay, got Okay, it. yeah, so as you sew, right, make sure that you pry open the fabric so that you can expose the seam completely and start sewing. Expose so, the seam completely, okay. Yeah, so because at certain points, especially the curve, you might just have the seam hidden inside. Okay. So what you want to do is you try to pry open so you can reach the edge of the seam, and then eyeball where that 0.2 cm is, and you start sewing. Again, I remind you, make sure that the seam allowance is underneath the lining. How are you doing? Focusing. What? Focusing high. I should be pulling open to expose it. Yes. Do you sew with your mouth open or with your mouth closed? Oh. Actually, I realize sometimes, right, when I'm too focused, then I open, then I sew with my mouth open. And that's not very nice. <laughs> so I have to always make sure that I close my mouth. 0.2 mm over here, right? Yeah. So bear in mind, your seam allowance is only 0.5. If your edge stitch is more than 0.5, you are not attaching the... Um, edge stitch onto your seam allowance anymore. And that defeats the purpose of this oh. edge stitch already. You're done? Yeah. Okay, hold on now. Finishing soon. Okay, you're better at sewing, I think. I feel. I have a good feeling. I don't. <laughs> and at the end, you go back three times, right? Yeah. It is basic. Why are you still asking me this? <laughs> Just to make sure, <laughs>
Okay, okay. Got it. So now you should see that oh, this edge stitch can actually hold your two pieces of fabric out. So you no longer see them trying to fold in together, right? right. It's actually opening up. Okay. If you just lay it flat. Yeah. The seam will open up nicely. So this is the point of edge stitch also. Okay. Ready? Yeah, I uh, think so. Okay, do you have any questions for me? Um, what if it's not opening up? <laughs> <laughs> then, how, how far is your edge stitch from your seam? Very far. It looks... I, I think I try to be lesser than the seam, but not uh -huh. at all points. Some some. Okay. Mean. Yeah, but I think we can move on. Okay, yeah, we'll move on. Yeah. So now let's sit to the wrong side of the fabric now. Okay. I think every side looks like the wrong side for me. And then what's facing me is my main fabric. Okay. So the lining is facing at the 12 o'clock side. Okay. And then your main fabric is 6 o'clock. Mm. Okay, so now take your paper pattern. I first have to mark out the center point of my um, booty. So what do I do is, when you have a paper pattern, right, place it down, make sure that you have the correct orientation, mm -hmm. and you should be able to see this center line. Okay, the center It's just line. right beside the flat word, that line. Okay. You saw that? Yeah, so once you place this right on your main fabric of the booty, mm -hmm. take your fabric marker, mm -hmm. and mark out the center point at the top. So just mark that little point, like that. Mark the little point at the top. So I should fold it in half, right? You don't have to fold it in half. You can just place your entire um, paper on top. On top? And that's how you can mark. Okay. So once you've got that center point, great. And then if you can't really see where your notches are, which in this case your notch is on the left side, you can also use the fabric marker to mark out your notch. Here. So you'll be able to see it. Okay. Okay, then let's move on. So now let's move to the center of the booty first. Take your ruler uh -huh. and I would like you to measure on both sides of the center point, right? 2 cm on each side. So this means that I'm marking out a 4 cm um, opening. Mm -hmm. And that is for me to, that's for us to attach the elastic. So mark out two centimeters on each side of the center line. Yes. So it's just four divided by two. Okay. Yeah, so now you have to take your elastic, which is from the bin. Take your mm -hmm. elastic. We are going to cut two cm of the elastic times two. Okay, so four cm in total. Yeah, four cm and then you can just snip it into half. And why do we need two? Because for this booty, you will have one elastic at the back of your foot and another one that's hidden very close to the, near to the top of the flat, which is going to be here and here. So one of the elastic will be for the 5cm notch that we marked on the flat side mm -hmm. of the booty. Hold on. Uh. Yeah. Just cutting off my elastic. One more. In half. Okay, got the elastic. Okay. 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 Got both? Yep. Alright, so you should clear your space again and then we'll start. Nothing in front of you. Nice. So you can just place one of the elastic away first. Mm. But now we are going to start with the center, which is the back of your foot. Okay. Yeah, so what you have to do is, you can see two stitches on the seam, am I right? One is in grey and one is in um, brown. So in this case, follow the bottom line that you see. So you should see one stitch that's higher and one stitch that's lower. Okay. Yeah, so follow using the bottom line as a gauge, right? What you need to do is just extend your notch down out of the seam. Uh, out of the stitch. So next, we'll take one of the elastic. Okay. Place the elastic right. We are going to go to the center of the booty first. Okay. Okay, okay so you see in the center, right? Uh. On both edges, you also have two markings. Mm. So that 4 cm gap. Oh, okay. I understand now. So okay, go to it. the first marking of the center point. Okay, got it. Got it. Got it. Take your snipper. Close the snipper, right? 
and hold down the elastic. So why I ask you to use snipper is just in case if your fingers are too big, you can't put it through. You can definitely either take a tweezer or in this case, if you have a snipper, mm. just close your snipper. You got mm. it? Yep. And okay, and then hold bit. down, yeah, hold down the, the elastic. Then that's when you can push it in. And then bring your footer down. So again, where you're gonna sew, your needle should be just 0.2 cm away from your edge of the elastic. Then bring your needle down and then start to sew forward. So as you sew, this takes about three steps to reach the end of the elastic. Mm. Mm. Confirm, right? Yep. Okay, then we will... You start sewing already? Yep. Okay, and then you will reverse back three times again. So at this point, because the elastic will have a bit of stretch, so I just want you to just go over again for two more times. Okay. So you are reversing to and fro four times. So again, come forward three steps. You should reach the end of the elastic and then reverse back up. One, two, okay. three. Okay, so, so once you're done... Hmm? Twice is enough. Uh, back and forth twice. Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Then you turn the needle up and then pull out and cut and then you should have that so you need to help me to check if at any point right your elastic has shifted you will have to redo it uh, but ideally your elastic should be placed right underneath the second stitch oh yeah this time was actually pretty good huh <laughs> surprisingly pretty good really yeah <laughs> okay 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 i'm very excited to see okay yeah, so I'll just explain. Uh. Yeah, Make sure up. that the elastic is below the second stitch. Okay. Number two, the edge of the elastic should be placed right by the edge of the first line yes. of your notch, which okay. is the first 2cm. Nice. Zero. Yes. And then after that, what you need to do is, you have to fold the fabric. So now, if you try to pull the elastic over to the other end, mm. oh. you realise that, yeah. What happened? <laughs> Shit. What happened? I pulled and the thing came out. Okay, then you have to redo it. Then you have to redo it. Oh no! Sorry. Yeah, that means your backstage maybe it wasn't firm enough. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, you got it. I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. So I should pull. So instead of pulling, if you realize when you try to pull, your elastic will have a lot of stress and it's really very hard for you to sew onto the other side. Yep. So instead of pulling, mm -hmm. just actually hold the elastic end, right? Mm. The part that you haven't sewn, right over to the other side. So you're actually folding the fabric okay. and instead of pulling the elastic. So far, so good? Yep. Yeah, so the idea is not pulling the elastic, but just bringing the elastic over to the other end and mm. you're kind of like folding the fabric for your elastic to meet. Okay. Yeah, so once your elastic has met the other side of the notch, then go ahead and sew another 0.2 cm from mm. the edge of the elastic and make sure that your elastic is again placed underneath. I should just scrunch that. it up or fold nicely? Fold nicely. Yeah, fold don't, nicely. don't scratch the fabric. Okay. And another 0.2 mm. Yes. And same thing again. Correcto. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so you should see that if your uh, elastic is not stretched, then your fabric will be folded already, right? Mm. Okay, next we're going to do the same thing for the 5 cm notch that we did. The part that we cut previously. There are mm. two sides and I ask you to mark it out. Yep. Yeah, so it's the same. You have to take your 2cm elastic again, place it right underneath the second line, the second stitch, mm -hmm. right by the edge and sew another 0.2cm. Okay, so it's the second notch? Mm. Or the first notch? There will be two. Either way, you will have to sew to both sides. Do you want to describe to me how your booty looks like now? Uh, the center looks scrunched together. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, and then on your left side, you should have two notches, right? Uh-huh. Okay, I think I know which one. The, the flat. Yeah, I don't edge. know why I have more than two notches, but... <laughs> okay, I think I know which one it is. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so you should only see two that you have marked out. So you total should have five yeah. lines that you marked. Same steps again, huh? Yes. So I am scrunching from 5 cm to 2 cm. Okay. And I'll fold over again. Place your elastic right underneath the second stitch. Mm -hmm. And sew 
another 0 0.2 cm. Okay. okay. Ready? So good? I think so. Alright, so now we'll start with sewing the tunnel for the elastic. Sewing the tunnel for the elastic. Yeah, okay. so first what I have with me is actually I'm facing the main fabric towards myself. Mm -hmm. And then once I folded the fabric into the booty into half at mm. the seam, right? Yep. I will have to straighten the elastic out. So it depends on which side you want to start first. You want to start on the first or the second elastic. It is up to you. But make sure that you have to straighten the elastic with one hand. Mm. So take your index finger and the thumb the to thumb stretch it. Stretch it out. Yeah. Okay. Then once you have stretched the elastic, that's how you can sew a straight line down. Okay. So next thing is, how are you going to sew? You're going to sew by the edge of the footer. This the means the footer. that... Mm, mm. This means that the edge of the fabric should be aligned next to the edge of the footer. Edge of the fabric should be aligned to the edge of the footer. Okay, Correct. Okay. So it depends on which side you're starting. So it doesn't matter whether you're starting from the first or the second, left or the right side of the footer. Mm. As long as you align the edge of the fabric to either side of the footer, it's actually even because your needle position is in the center of the footer. Okay, makes sense. So that means if I were to place the edge by the right side of the footer, my needle will still be at that position. If I were to flip to the left side of the footer, it will still be in the same position. Okay. Yeah. So then when you see your elastic, you will see a starting and the ending. Yeah. Yeah, so you're going to start from the starting all the way to the ending and then remember to reverse on both sides. Reverse. As you're sewing this, make sure that you stretch your elastic out as well. So end at the ending of the elastic and back stitch. Two, three. Bring it up, pull, and then you have a nice little tunnel that has been created with that little gather set. Just move on to the next one, okay? Yeah, go ahead. To do the same steps for both. Yeah. So for both. Okay. Okay. Yep, it's not naturally scrunching up. Yay! I think. Yeah. Okay. Central high five. Okay, next. We are going to start to sew up the entire <coughs> flap. Right now, you still have the lining and the main fabric detached. Mm -hmm. So I want to attach both of them together. What I have to do is apply a base stitch around the bottom edge of the boat. Base stitch around the bottom edge? Yeah, so in this case, boat. base stitch means that you have to change the stitch length to a higher, uh, to a longer stitch. Okay. So right now, that? if you have a look at the panel, your stitch is at 2.5. Yep. So we'll just adjust to 4. So your stitch length is longer. So the point of this is because when your stitch is longer, it's a temporary stitch. Later mm. on, you can just unpick it. I see. Yeah. Okay. Then how much to sew, right? It's a 0 0.2. 0 0.2, huh? Yeah, just all around it. So you are trying to close up the main fabric together with the lining. Okay. The main side should be facing you. Up, me. Yeah. Okay, so I have to sew. So if, let's say now, right, you should have your fabrics not aligned very nicely. Your lining should be picking out of your main fabric. Do you see that? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. So what you have to do, just follow the edge of the main fabric. Ignore the lining. Okay. And sew a basting stitch at 0 0.2 cm. So just sew it all around, eh? Yep. Yeah. So you don't have to reverse. You don't have to reverse. You don't have time. to. Because at the end of the... Um, Holding, you will just have to unpick it. So right now, this temporary stitch is just to hold these two pieces together. Okay, and then once you are done, at the end also, you don't have to reverse it. You can just cut it off. You're done? Yep. Okay. I'm really looking forward to see how your flat turns out. Okay, got it. You want to rate? What do you think? Oh, I think I'll rate myself a negative now. <laughs> okay, you are sewing based on like feeling or no, I'm are you, were you following? I'm uh, following the instructions, but I Great. think my techniques need to yeah, be yeah, better. Okay, 
Alright, so now what do we do with the lining that is picking out of your main fabric? Just have to trim it okay. off. Aligning to the main fabric. Okay. Ideally, um, hmm? if you cut it right the first time, there shouldn't be much excess fabric, right? Yeah. And no, so for this case, even though you cut it uh, at the correct template mm -hmm. or the correct size, you will still have a bit of that um, allowance that's peeking out. Mm -hmm. The reason why is because we did an edge stitch by your lining. So that actually tries to force your lining down and that would give your lining a bit more allowance than your main fabric. Okay. So you will realize that at the fold, you can't really fold directly at the seam. Your main fabric kind of like roll over slightly to hide the lining inside. Okay. So that should be the point of your edge stitch. Okay, then now we will move on to the sole. Say again? Your grey side of the fabric is facing yes, up, right? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Good. Wow, thank God you double check with me. Okay, <laughs> so now...